How would you see the simulation training expanding into covering more than 50% of training, for example? We are on the way uh, there. So it, it used to be like the emergency procedures training and, and the simple things, how to fly the, the jet. But now in civilian training, some of the companies say that, okay, a virtual hour is the same as the real one. Also for military aviation operators, the percentage of simulation and uh, the virtual training is growing. And for example, for some fighter jets, there are no twin-seater aircraft. So so you have to do the all the early on training virtually, and you have to be confident that it's good enough that, that you can give the individual a multi-million fighter jet and he or she will fly it for real for, for the first time alone.